Hello, I'm Aaron Torgerson. I'm here to record a demo for you uh, to show the integration and the working of CodeStream, a pipeline tool from VMware integrated with Kubernetes that has been deployed by PKS. All right, so I have a couple of screens, good. I'll be switching back and forth. This is my command line over here and then the web interface. Um, what I'll be demoing is I have, a, have a, uh, a fake airline reservation system called Acme Air. Um, what I'm going to demo is that being deployed um, via the pipeline. And so I just wanted to show in Kubernetes here, I already have this namespace for Acme Air. It is up and running. Uh, we can see the application up and running over here uh, with the FQDN. Um, it is utilizing the uh, Ingress controller uh, with the FQ FQDN. So that's already running. And then the whole goal of the pipeline is going to be to have an updated version of that code of my code, of the Acme Air code running on that namespace. Um, so here's a pipeline that I set up in CodeStream. So we're in pipelines. Um, simple pipeline, I call it Acme, Acme Dev. Uh, and um, it has one stage in it uh, called Dev to Prod. Now, in many cases, you'll have multiple stages or multiple pipelines that you can interconnect with each other. But this one is just showing a simple integration point. So the first part of my pipeline is uh, the Docker build. So this might be done in a bigger pipeline by Jenkins or some other automation tool. But in this case, I just set up a script that's going to run on, on a Linux box that I have. Um, it's going to download get it's going to download some Git code after I check it in. So as part of this pipeline, um, there's Git. There's a trigger for Git. So I'll show you that real quick. I set up a trigger for Git for Acme. For Acme Air, that's my, my GitHub branch for Acme Air. And basically, anytime I push to this dev branch of Acme Air, it's going to kick off this pipeline. So that's what the trigger does. So going back to the pipeline, if I look at Docker build, it's going to get triggered first. It's going to clone the latest uh, of that branch, of the dev branch. It's going to move it around to, for the Docker build because I have a, a static Docker file Docker building process that gets run. So I move the code to a different directory, just rename the directory really. Then I do a build uh, with a tag of my, uh, my harbor registry. So if you see my harbor registry, will bounce over there real quick to look at harbor. You may have to log in here. Yep, real quick. If I look at harbor and I go into my Swift project and I have uh, a bunch of images here. You can see the tags will go by time. And we'll see that the latest, the latest uh, pipeline or tag is 41. Uh, right here, this tag is 41. So how that corresponds, you'll see in a little bit um, where that tag came from. But anyway, we build the, the image based off the Docker file that I have on my system and the source code that I downloaded from Git. And then I push that to Harbor with that tag. Um, and that's it for that. After that goes through, uh, we create a Kubernetes namespace. Uh, we set up a Kubernetes endpoint uh, to talk to my, my internal cluster. So remember, this is CodeStream run, running on the, in the cloud and talking to my Kubernetes on-prem, uh, creating a namespace here. So that's a simple uh, first step. Uh, creating a new namespace here, if you notice, it's Acme Air dash the execution index, which will be uh, 41 or 42 actually will be the next one and that'll line up with the tag that is that you saw in Harbor a minute ago. So I'm going to create the Mongo uh, staple set. Mm. Everything as you see in in the index for namespace and then more important most importantly is the Acme web because this is actually what's going to change. Um, if you notice the image here we built and pushed that image in the first step of this pipeline and now we're going to use that same brand new image that we got. So this get created in the new namespace and then an email will go out uh, to me, um, basically saying, you know, this, this uh, part of the pipeline run, it was deployed, you know, please test and approve for release the prod. So we'll get the email. And then once the, that is approved, two tasks will kick off simultaneously. One will be to delete that uh, development namespace. And then at the same time, we're going to update that image, that production image, which is running 
you know, live, that live version out there. We're gonna, just gonna update that production image. See here, this is Kubernetes and we're gonna apply, which means we're applying to an existing uh, deployment and we're gonna update that image to use the, the index, the execution index. All right, so this all gets kicked off if we submit some source code to GitHub repo. So let's go into, let's just look at the executions. Let's bring up the list of executions so we can see it start. So I'm going to go to my other tab here, and I'm going to, uh, I'm in my, I, I cloned down the, the dev branch of this Acme error, and I'm going to make a, make a change to a file. Basically the public index where it says smile. So it'll be right here. Um, this is what I'm going to modify. So Acme error, it says all with a smile. So we're going to change that a little bit just to say a genuine smile. And we're gonna save that, that file. And then we're gonna do a git add and a git commit. And then push it up. And then as soon as that gets registered, uh, the webhook will be listening the exact timing, usually under a minute it starts, um, we'll start to see a new namespace come up in here. We'll see a pipeline, of course, uh, execution, go off inside of CodeStream once it's started up. And we'll see an Acme error dash, I believe it'll be 42 namespace will be created and then we should get the email. So email is open. We have nothing in our CodeStream folder right now. And um, we'll just wait a couple. There you go, it started. So pretty soon if we click into here, into the pipeline, we can actually see you know what's going on so the docker build is currently uh, happening right now so once that um, happens and it has because if you look over uh, on the command line we now have a new namespace called acme air 42 um, so that is that is started and then after a couple seconds uh, that should be done so that is done and the new application the two uh, parts of the application will start to be deployed. So we'll kill that watch and we'll just do it. Forty-two. All right, so they're both up and running even though they don't show completely updated um, in, in the pipeline. We can look at the service here, get the IP address because um, the, the running application in production is running through the, is using the English controller. Uh, but the running application um, for this new namespace is going to be using a load balancer. So it's going to get its own uh, unique IP address. So to find that, we just we find that and we find that it is running on, on dot 65 um, here. So we'll go check it out. We should have another up and running. So we have another application up and running. So we have two Acme errors up and running and you can see it has my change of genuine smile. Right, and so this one running over here, uh, this production still has the old version. And you know, if we wanna check into a flight, I still have a flight here to check into, so we'll check to make sure uh, once we get updated. All right, so if you didn't notice, uh, this turned yellow, well, it's a waiting for an approval. So let's check email just to see if we got it. So CoStream sent out an email. Uh, with the generic message uh, we already have it open so you just click here or some other way to automatically approve it possibly um, and then it'll kick off and then if we did the watch command again over here we'll start to see our uh, acme air 42 namespace is going to be terminated uh, which will so that is gone and then the namespace obviously is being deleted acme web will be updated so acme web is already updated so if i go over to my application i hit home i now have my new change in there and my data is still there as well because that mongo pod is unaffected um, you notice it's only on the home page where you see that the genuine smile but anyway it's there the change is there the pipeline has kicked off um, created a namespace, did all the networking behind the scenes. Um, nothing had to be stopped I mean, or changed um, for that. Thanks for your time.